Hello and welcome to another pickups video. Now the first thing I got was a trade with a great YouTuber named the Master of Reality. Um, I'm going to flip it to the back so you can't see our addresses. No, no. But anyways, this is uh, half of what I got. He's sending the other half because, you know, we worked out a trade and then I was like, hey, I want to trade for a few more of those titles. So this is half of it. Now the first thing I got was Athletics World. Um, I did have this and I played it a lot as a kid, but when we moved to this house about six or seven years ago, I mean, those movers just jacked a bunch of our stuff. And sadly, my Nintendo games were one of them. Uh, luckily, I had about four or five in the box with my Super Nintendo because I was staying at a friend's house. So, you know, I'm trying to build that collection back up and it's just now we're getting to it because, you know. I've been growing my other collection pretty good, and it's time to give Nintendo some love. And the next one I got is for the N64 Turok. Um, really happy to get this one. I really want to keep my Turok collection, so always happy to have that. And this next game is one I've just, you know, I've wanted it for a really long time and just missed out on it at every opportunity. So, you know, he had it up for trade, and I was like, you know what, that sounds good. And that is Donkey Kong 64. Um, all of his carts are, ex well, the NES one's kind of messed up, but his N64 carts were spotless, you know, so I'm really happy to get that. And then I went to my favorite pawn shop and uh, picked up a few PlayStation 1 titles. The first one is Iron Man XO Man of War and Heavy Metal. Um, I remember playing this on the Genesis a good, I want to say, 15 years ago, and I loved it then, so I was really happy to see it on the shelves, and all my PS1 games were $1.50, so you can't beat that price. Next one I got is a Greatest Hits copy of Tekken 2. Um, all the discs are flawless, except for the one up next one I'm going to show you, and uh, it's just surface stuff on that one. But I was really happy to get this, because I don't like having disc-only copies, so put my black label one in this. And the next game I got, it just looks so bad that you had to pick it up and see if it was that bad. And it is. You know, I played it when I got home and it's just god awful, but nonetheless I'm happy to have it in my collection so when friends come over I can say, hey, you gotta check out this bad game. And it's called In Cold Blood. I don't know if you can see the cover art very well, but it just looks so freaking cheesy. And it is. I don't know why people were comparing this to the original Siphon filters. It's nothing like it. The next game I got is an Atlas game. And uh, I'm a pretty big Atlas fan. But I have never heard of this one. It's kind of an action RPG slash mech game. And it's called Space Griffin VF9. Um, mint condition on the long, bo long box. And you know it's got some pretty cool artwork in there. Really happy to pick that up and add it to my Atlas collection, but I still have no idea what it is. You know, I've never heard of it before, so I had to pick it up. And the next three things I got are not video game related, but if you've read my, you know, page, I'm also a musician, and being a musician, there's just some things you can't pass up on, and one of them is classic rock and metal vinyls, punk rock too, and the first one is. Blizzard of Oz. Um, the the slip covers are kind of beat up, but the vinyls are in amazing shape. This one opens up from the top from the little insert here, so I'm just going to show the other ones. Another one I got is Quiet Riot Metal Health. I've always gotten a lot of crap for liking them, but uh, I just freaking love Quiet Riot. Can't beat them, in my opinion. And then the next vinyl I picked up was Van Halen. Um, I had this on CD and cassette and really glad to add it to my vinyl collection. As you can see they're in really good shape. And for a buck a piece, you know, I just could not pass that up. You know, I any place that has vinyls I dig through the bins and stuff, but you usually just find crappy country compilations and fucking orchestral stuff, so Really happy to find that stuff. But anyways, thank you for watching. I want to give a special shout out to the Master of Reality. You know, you're just an awesome person to trade with, you know, no problems. 
nothing nice, which is rare. Not on the YouTube circuit, because he's my first YouTube trade, but, you know, people on Craigslist and eBay, they're just, they can be a hassle to trade with sometimes, so it's so nice to have a good experience for once. So, anyways, thank you for watching. Stay safe and stay gaming.